good afternoon, basketball fans, and welcome to the Auxiliary Gymnasium here at Hicksville High School. As we're getting ready for some boys' junior high basketball action on this Monday afternoon as the homestanding Aces, 7th and 8th graders, are getting ready to take on the Bulldogs of Edgerton this afternoon. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. Glad to have you with us here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. First of two live streams we're going to have for you. First up will be, as I mentioned, the seventh grade game. We'll wrap this one up, and we'll be back with the second live stream a little later this afternoon with coverage of the eighth grade matchup. I uh, will let you know that I am flying solo this afternoon. Unfortunately, Chris Warner, who was going to be helping me this afternoon, had a, uh, well, he was taken ill near the end of the school day and uh, had to uh, leave as uh, folks were going to be taking him to uh, see a doctor this afternoon to hopefully get him fixed up and keep our fingers crossed that he's feeling better soon and be able to be back with us as soon as possible. So as a result of that, and because it happened at such, a, at such the last minute, I'm not able to uh, find a replacement for him. So that means that... Uh, I'm going to be here all by my lonesome, so I will do my best. But it isn't going to be the traditional type of play-by-play. -play. There's no way that I can run the camera, follow the rosters, keep track of the scores. So that will not be the case this afternoon. I will, however, take some time right now to run down the complete roster for both teams uh, that will be playing in the seventh grade game today. So uh, they'll at least uh, get one mention on the air. Let's begin with the visiting Edgerton Bulldogs 7th graders. Uh, their roster is as follows. Number 10 will be Luke Stiver. Number 11 is Landrick Smith. Number 13, Tanner Kimple. Number 14 is Braden Stark. Number 20 is Nathan Krill. And number 33 is Eduardo Romero. For the Aces, a big roster this year for the 7th graders. Number 2, Keegan Barnes. Number 3 is Easton Adams. Number 4 is Jet Keysbury. Number 5, Paxton Yoder. Number 10, Sterling Teagarden. Number 11 is Jaden Beverly. Number 12 is Jonah Laker. Number 14, Cole Yeezer. Number 20, Curtis Wonderly. Number 22, Cody Wisecup. Number 23 is Bryson Brummett. Number 24, Hunter Miller. And number 32 is Jacoby Campbell. And again, I apologize for not being able to uh, call out the normal type of play-by-play -play this afternoon, but I would rather do abbreviated play-by-play -play and bring you the coverage than have to cancel it completely this afternoon. I want to thank our underwriters making our coverage possible here today. They include our four diamond-level underwriting supporters, underwriting all of our Aces Sports broadcasts. That's the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Also, a big thank you to APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in the industrial park and online at www.aptmfg.com slash careers. Thanks to the Hicksville Pharmacy. They're your good neighbor pharmacy located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. If you'd like information on COVID boosters, flu shots, or more, give them a call at 419-542-6218. And also a big thank you to Arc Solutions Incorporated on Industrial Drive in Hicksville, Ohio. Find out about the many solutions they have for business and industry by checking them out online at www.arcsolinc.com. And we also want to say a thank you to our Gold Level underwriting supporter, underwriting all of our basketball coverage, and that, of course, is the Subway of Hicksville, where Al and the gang say, Go Aces, Subway of Hicksville. Great place to stop before or after the game. Proud sponsors of the Subway Player of the Game Award we give out at the end of each varsity boys and girls basketball game we cover here on Hicks TV. So I think I've got everything taken care of there. The Officials are making sure that the basketballs are bouncing properly and the teams are going to break huddle and come out onto the floor and we'll get ready to get this seventh grade game underway. Glad to have you with us again on this uh, Monday afternoon. Hope you had a great weekend and got the week off to a good start today and that uh, you are all set and prepared should the heavy winter weather that they're talking about materialize and come our way in the middle of the week. So at least we'll get some sports action in, if that's the case here on this Monday. Aces and the Bulldogs are ready to jump center circle and get this seventh grade game underway. Six-minute quarters at the junior high level. Again, glad to have you with us. And we're off and running. The ball initially controlled by the Edgerton Bulldogs. Bulldogs. 
Shot from the corner, up and short, no good. Back the other way, come the aces, cross the timeline, pass down into the corner, work it inside, up top of the key, driving in, shot up, no good, but there's a whistle and a foul. That didn't take long, and that's going to send Hicksville to the free throw line to shoot two. No score early on here in this seventh grade basketball game. First shot, rattles home, it's good. It's a one nothing lead for the Aces. I believe that's Beverly shooting the free throws. Second one's no good, but the rebound comes down to the Aces. Shot up, and that one's no good, but another put back up, and that one goes in and out, and they get the rebound again. Kick it back outside this time. Runs baseline, nice bounce pass, shot up, layup underneath, no good, another foul, and two more free throws coming to Hicksville. So we'll get ready for a couple more free throws here. That one off the back of the rim and no good. One more. Set. That one's good. 2 nothing game now as the Aces take the early lead. And here come the Bulldogs back on offense. Should mention, too, that we are here in the auxiliary gym. And, of course, the uh, structure of the bleachers is a little bit different than in the main gymnasium. So sometimes you will see the camera jump and vibrate, and that's because there are people jumping up and down, and the bleachers are running around. And so there's, we'll do the best we can to control that, but sometimes it overpowers the stabilization of the camera. That's just part of the fun of being in the auxiliary gym. Back on offense after the deflected pass rolls out of bounds. Bulldogs. Down into the corner, shot. That's good. They're going to give him a three on that one. So it's 3 2 Edgerton. And we'll come back the other way with the Bulldogs, or with the Aces, excuse me. That's a travel and a turnover. So the ball will go back to Edgerton. Edgerton dressed in their road maroon with white numerals and white trim. And the Aces, of course, their home whites with the red numerals and trim this afternoon. On the wing for the Bulldogs. Stolen away. They'll take it the distance, lay it up off the glass, and good. And with that, Hicksville will take the lead 4-3, to three, and we'll have our first time out of the game. That'll come from the Edgerton bench. Looks like it's going to be just a quick 30-second timeout. Well, looking ahead to this week here on Hicksville Community Television, we've got, of course, uh, me. You've got me here with the two junior high basketball games this afternoon. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to be over in the main gymnasium, and uh, that's going to be uh, for wrestling coverage. Yeah, the uh, only home match for the Aces Grapplers tomorrow, starting at six. It's going to be a tri meet with Montpelier and Patrick Henry and. We're going to be there, and our, our intent is to stream it for you live tomorrow night here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. Out of bounds, the ball belonging to Edgerton. Working it down, driving baseline. Nothing there, bounce pass, and taken away by the Aces. Quickly across the timeline. Shot up, no good, put back, up off glass, and that goes down. Aces take the lead now, 6-3, to three, as they double it up on the Edgerton Bulldogs. Edgerton looking to draw a little closer here. 
Down into the corner. A whistle will be out of bounds. Last touched by the Aces. 3.20 left to go in our opening quarter. Bounce pass into the Bulldogs. Working his way, turnaround jumper up, no good. Rebound Hicksville. From the corner, in and out, no good. Rebound. I'll get it back out to the top of the key, now onto the wing, and another long shot. And that one again, just a little bit off. This time the rebound comes down to Edgerton, quickly up the floor. He tries to go coast to coast, and he travels before he gets to the hoop. So that'll be another turnover to Hicksville with 2.43 to go. And again, the Aces leading 6-3 here in the seventh grade game. Aces down into the corner, tries to feed it inside. They do put it up just a little too short. Second crank is good. That goes down, and it's now 8-3 Hicksville. Bulldogs is a scrum on the floor. The Aces come up with it. Off to the races, lays it up. It's good, and he'll go to the line. Looking to complete the three-point play. So the field goal makes it a 10-3 game with 2.05 to go. And again, the clock stops for the free throw. Three team fouls now on the Bulldogs, and none committed by the Aces yet in the game. Uh, free throw, gets the bounce, and it's good. That makes it 11 to three, and the Aces lead increases to eight. Bulldogs losing their handle on the dribble. It's gonna be a jump ball. Possession arrow, gonna give it to the Aces. Under two minutes to go in the opening quarter, Hicksville gets the ball back on the jump ball call. Kicks it back out. Now onto the wing. Driving in. He'll kick it back out. That's from the corner. That's off the glass. No good. The put back. No good. And another try. That one no good. And they'll take it back out now. As the Aces hang on to get another long shot. That's off the back of the iron. And finally grabbed by the Edgerton Bulldogs. Four shots on goal. The Aces couldn't get any of them to drop that time. And we're going to have a whistle on the other end of the floor, and that'll be the first foul committed by Hicksville this afternoon. And it's going to send the Bulldogs to the line to shoot two. An 11-3 game in minute 14, and the clock stopped. And here's Edgerton's chance to draw a little closer. First one, no good. Quick substitution for the Aces. And we'll get ready for the second shot. And that one is also no good. Rebound to the Aces. Hicks will bring the ball up. Setting the offense. Driving into the paint. Up off glass, no good. Battling for the rebound underneath. The Aces get it out of there. Shot up, and that's a little bit short. And that's going to go out of bounds. It'll be Edgerton's ball. Bulldogs, and that's going to be a... Another whistle and another foul. That'll be just on the floor. So it'll be out of bounds to Edgerton as the Aces pick up team foul number two.
Quick inbounds. Bounce pass. Three-point shot is good. So two threes have kept the Bulldogs in this game. It's now 11-6 as they cut the Aces' lead to five. Ball knocked loose. Still bouncing around. And see if they can get it under control. They do. Shot up, and that's good from about 12 feet. 13 to six and the lead back up to seven for the Aces. And we're gonna have another whistle and a push. That'll even up the team fouls at three each. And again, common fouls, so. Edgerton gets the ball out of bounds side court. Inbounds and quickly up the floor, shot up. No good, that'll be out of bounds and should go to Hicksville, it does. 1.7 seconds, so just about ready to close out quarter number one here. Ball inbounds, three-quarter court shot. Nope, off the superstructure and no good, and that's the end of the first quarter. So we played the first six minutes, and it's the homestanding Aces leading the visiting Edgerton Bulldogs 13-6 to here this afternoon. Got some time, so we want to say a big thank you to one of our Diamond Level Underwriting supporters making our coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television, and that's our good friends at Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio. Arc Solutions Incorporated, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park. World-class facility, and you can find out more about the many solutions they have for business and industry. They do some incredible stuff out there. Find out more. Check them out online, because it's way more than I could say in 60 seconds. Go online and check it out yourself at www.arcsolinc.com. We want to thank them so very much for their Diamond Level Underwriting Support 2023. Denny Vetter and the whole gang, again, at Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio, and online at www.arcsolinc.com. Teams will break huddle, and they'll come back out onto the floor. Be the Bulldogs ball to start the second quarter. Inbounds, and we're underway. Ball knocked loose. Close to an over and back, but he, well, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. It was touched by an opponent. Driving in, then stopping, trapped in a double team. Tries to put up the shot and draws the foul. Heads up play from Edgerton as they go to the line. And the Aces pick up team foul number four. First free throw is good. Makes it a 13 to seven game. They'll have one more. That one is no good. Rebound battled for the Aces come up with it under the bucket and head up the floor. Feeds it inside down low. Loses the handle, gets it back in bounds. They'll try it again down into the corner. Shot up, off the iron, no good. Battle for the rebound, it comes up in the hands of the Bulldogs. And here comes Edgerton across the timeline. Out onto the wing. Move it to the top of the key. Drives in towards the paint. Ball comes loose. Loses a dribble. It's picked up by the Aces. And we'll go back the other way. Down low. Feeds it inside baseline. Kick it back out. Long three. In and out. No good. Rebound under the hoop. They'll put it back up. That one will roll no good. And we'll have a whistle. And that'll be a foul on the aces that'll be team foul number five and the ball goes back to Edgerton down by six 13 to seven 450 to go before halftime shot up no good It 
Case is working it around the perimeter. Long three, that's off the back of the iron and no good. But the rebound comes down to Hicksville. They'll reset. Now seeing if they can work it down on the baseline. Turnaround jumper up, no good. Partially blocked and grabbed by the Bulldogs. Aces come away empty-handed. The score remains 13-7, down to just under four minutes to go. Another steal on the Aces' end of the floor. Hicksville will kick it back out. Drives into the paint, puts up the layup. It's short, no good. Grabs the rebound. Now a three-point attempt is no good. Rebound and the put back off glass and good. Count it, and he's going to the line. We've lost the scoreboard. It was 13 to seven, so that should make this 15 to seven. With the free throw pending and they're looking at the plugs. Let's see if they can resuscitate the scoreboard. So they are working on the scoreboard. We have suspended play temporarily. Right now, like I said, if I remember correctly, it's the Aces leading. Well, they're it's starting to come to life. It should be 15 to 7 after the bucket that was just made and the free throw pending. And we're going to have a unofficial sort of a pause, a timeout. But while they're working on it, we'll stand by here. And it looks like, ah, they've, there you go, they brought it back to life. <laughs> 3.38 to go, score 13 to 7. And again, they'll need to add the two points for the bucket that was made. There we go, 15 to 7. And we'll get ready to get the game back underway. Free throw coming for the Aces. That one's no good. Rebound to Edgerton. Quickly up the floor. Bulldogs slapped out of bounds by the Aces. It'll stay with Edgerton. Out of bounds side court. Quick substitution from the Aces bench. Bounce pass in and knocked out of bounds again. So they'll reposition the Bulldogs and they'll try the inbounds one more time. Bounce pass in successfully this time. Driving in, loses the dribble off of his foot. It'll be a jump ball. And that'll be going to the Aces on the possession arrow. Up 15 to 7 here with 3 minutes 15 seconds to go in our second quarter. Seventh grade junior high boys basketball action on the Hicks TV YouTube channel this afternoon. Driving down low baseline, kicks it back out. Working in the corner now out to the top of the key. Over to the far side on the wing. Driving in, stops, kicks it back out on top. Oh, pause for a moment, look things over. Move it on to the wing, back up to the top of the key. Aces will move it around, drives inside, pull up, shot, no good. Put back is no good, but he's fouled. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. That'll be team foul number four. I do believe now on the Edgerton Bulldogs. Two shots for the Aces coming up, leading 15-7. First one's good. That'll make it 16-7. One more for Hicksville to see if they can make it a 10-point lead. He gets them both, and it's 17-7, and the Aces are indeed up by 10. Inbounds to the Bulldogs. 
almost stolen away. He loses it out of bounds. Ball will go back to Edgerton with 2.35 to go before halftime. Quick bounce pass inside. Tries to drive it in, nothing there. Tries to pick it back out. He's trapped in a double team, but he's going to be fouled. That'll be team foul number six on Hicksville. Next foul committed by the Aces will put Edgerton into the bonus for the remainder of the half. Quick mounts pass, lost, and the Aces recover. Here comes Hicksville. Back on offense with 2.20 to go in the half. Shot from three-point land is no good. Rebound aces put back up, and it rolls home. 19-7, aces up by a dozen. Edgerton needing to get some offense going here. Getting trapped on the baseline, and another turnover. As the aces from three... No good. They run it down. Get it back in bounds before it goes out of bounds, but it winds up in the hands of the Edgerton Bulldogs. Some pressure trying to get it up the floor. And finally a timeout called by the Edgerton bench before he was knocked out of bounds or forced out of bounds. A minute 28 to go here. So both teams will huddle up. We'll keep it here, of course, at halftime. Fill you in a little bit about stuff going on as we look ahead to this week. And, of course, uh, when this game wraps up, we'll have a short post game because, again, I'm here by myself, so I'm not able to uh, keep track of stats or... So I won't be able to pass along any unofficial scoring or anything like that. So we'll uh, thank everybody and wrap it up and take a little bit of a break. And then I'll be back with a second live stream. And I'll be bringing you the eighth grade action as well here tonight on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. Glad to have you with us, too. And hope you are enjoying the coverage this afternoon. A little bit of a snowy weekend. And we may have... More wintry weather coming our way midweek. We're sort of taking a wait-and-see attitude on that, keeping an eye on the forecast and the models being created by the National Weather Service. Teams will break huddle, and we'll get ready to resume play here in this second quarter. It will be Edgerton's ball side court. They'll get the ball in, and we are underway. Again, a minute 25 to go. One of the aces takes a bit of a spill. Edgerton, again, looking to get something going here offensively. They're down by a dozen. Driving in towards the baseline. Nothing there. He's trapped in a double team, and they draw another foul. And that should be one and one now for the Bulldogs. So the foul puts Edgerton into the bonus. And they're going to shoot some free throws with a minute seven left to go in the half. Getting everything set. All right, everybody's in their proper place. And we'll get ready. First one's up, and no good. Misses everything. It'll be Ace's ball. No time off the clock. Still one minute, seven seconds to go, and still a 12-point lead for Hicksville, 19-7. to seven. And we're going to have a timeout. Quick 30-second timeout called by the Aces bench with a minute two to go before halftime. Good crowd here in the auxiliary gym this afternoon. Not surprising. It's just a short jaunt down Route 49 from Edgerton to Hicksville. And 
see a lot of a lot of folks from both communities here enjoying the coverage this afternoon or enjoying the game this afternoon there's a lot more watching at home enjoying the coverage on the CV YouTube channel buzzers sounds so we'll get ready to close out the first half of play here in this seventh grade boys basketball game it'll be the aces ball side center court here they get the ball inbounds And we'll see what the Aces come up with. Nice pass inside. Shots no good. Put back also no good. Ball loose on the floor. And it's going to be, I don't know who touched it last. There's players flying all over the place. One of the Aces went halfway under the scorer's table. And they'll say he's the one that touched it last. So it'll be Bulldogs basketball with 47.7 seconds left in the half. Edgerton down by a dozen, driving in, loses the dribble, but it's scooped back up, and now we've got a wrestling match. The Aces come up with the ball. Long pass down the floor. Shot from three-point land is short, no good. Another wrestling match under the hoop on the other end of the court. That'll be a jump ball, and that will go to Edgerton. 28.9 seconds, and the Bulldogs back on offense. They take the spill, gets it out of there, but it's grabbed by one of the Hicksville players. Nice pass, layup is good. 21 to 7 with 15 seconds. Aces rattle another one home. Bulldogs now down to six, and another steal by Hicksville, and another layup, and that one's good again. And that's going to be the end of the first half. We've played the first 12 minutes here tonight and at halftime. It's the homestanding Aces leading the Edgerton Bulldogs 23-7, the halftime score. I want to take a moment to thank another one of our Diamond Level underwriters making our coverage possible here from the Auxiliary Gymnasium this evening. And that is our good friends at the Hicksville Pharmacy. The Hicksville Pharmacy. Located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. They're your good neighbor pharmacy with a full pharmacy to serve you and your family's pharmaceutical needs. I'm pausing here because I have a whole bunch of people that are trying to leave my walking right in front of the camera and grabbing my tripod as they go by. There we go. All right. Everybody made it safely. Good. A full pharmacy for you and your family's pharmaceutical needs. They also have medical equipment and supplies and over-the-counter medications as well as gifts and sundries. You can stop by for greeting cards. They have candles. Uh, they have Ohio State Michigan paraphernalia, toy stuffed animals, and lots more. It's a terrific place to stop and just browse around. You should make it part of the itinerary whenever you're planning an afternoon or a day in and around downtown Hicksville, Ohio. We want to thank them so very much again for their diamond level support of all of our Ace of Sports broadcasts throughout 2023, our good friends, the Myers family. And hey, if you'd like information about getting a COVID booster, a flu shot, or anything else, feel free to give them a call. They'd love to hear from you. It's 419-542-6218. And that, again, is the Hicksville Pharmacy, your good neighbor pharmacy located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. As I mentioned, it's halftime, and at the break, it's the Aces leading the Edgerton Bulldogs in this boys' seventh-grade basketball game, 23-7. Our halftime score, going to take a break, but don't go anywhere. I'll be back and have all the exciting second-half play-by-play coming your way right here on Hicks TV. Welcome back to the Auxiliary Gym as we get ready for the second half of play between the 7th graders from Edgerton and Hicksville. 
If you're just joining us at halftime, it's 23 to seven. The Aces with the big lead going into the third quarter. We want to say a big thank you to another one of our Diamond Level underwriting supporters making our live stream coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television. And that's our good friends at APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park. World-class facility offering robotic packing and palleting solutions, welding, powder coating, and lots more. And they're looking to add to their roster. They've got great opportunities available. You can find out more by logging on to www aptmfg.com slash careers that'll take you to a full listing of all of the opportunities that they have available you can also uh, fill out an application upload your resume they would love to hear from you and who knows you might be able to become a part of the apt manufacturing solutions family we want to thank tony nicewander and all the gangs again for their diamond level support of all of our aces sports broadcasts for all of 2000 and 23 our good friends at APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio and online at www.aptmfg.com slash careers. One more quick hit of the soda bottle here. That'll hopefully get me through most of the second half. Teams are out on the floor. Six minutes on the clock. Aces will have the ball to start the third quarter. They get it inbounds, and we're underway. Again, glad to have you with us. Bill Murphy calling the action for you, sort of, here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. Quick transition. They feed it down low. Nice passing, and the shot is up and good, and it's 25-7 Hicksville. Here comes Edgerton, their first offensive series of the second half. Driving it in right now, keeping it out around the perimeter. Aces defense making it tough. And the ball's blocked and taken away by Hicksville. Now hold it up, take it across half court. Aces again. Working the passing to feed it down inside. Shot from the corner for three is no good. Rebound battled for under the hoop. It's going to be a jump ball, and that will go to Edgerton on the possession arrow. We're a minute in on this third quarter. And again, it's 25-7 aces with the lead by 18. Edgerton looking to get something going here offensively. They drive in to the paint. Bounce pass down to the corner. Shot up. No good. Rebound to the Aces. And they'll come back the other way. Hicksville kicks it back out. Drives the baseline. Puts it up. It goes off the bottom of the backboard, but he's fouled as he goes up for the shot. That'll be team foul number one for the second half. On the Hicksville or on the uh, Edgerton Bulldogs, as uh, <laughs> they forgot to reset the foul count at halftime. All right, there we go. One team foul on Edgerton and two shots coming for Hicksville. First one a little bit short, no good. Score remains 25 7. One more for the Aces. And that one rattles home, make it 26 to 7. And a 19 point lead now for the Aces. Edgerton drives baseline, puts it up a little bit short, and again the rebound grabbed by Hicksville. Down into the corner, shot up, no good, but. That one is up, and it'll count. And the Aces will go to the line as the Edgerton Bulldogs commit their second team foul of this second half. 28-7 now, Aces up by 21. And a free throw coming. Shot is up, no good. 
Edgerton grabs the rebound. Closely guarded by Hicksville as they put the pressure on right at the baseline. They break the pressure, get it down the floor, out of bounds. It'll be Aces ball. 3.57 to go. Stolen away. Nice defensive play from Edgerton and shot up and down it goes. So the Bulldogs finally able to break the scoring ice. They were kind of cold in the second quarter too. It's, it's 30 to nine now. But hopefully they'll get the lid off the bucket. Nice block. Recovered, but into the hands of the Bulldogs. He'll take it coast to coast. He'll put it up. It's no good, but foul on Hicksville will send him to the line to shoot two. So here comes Edgerton ch Edgerton's chance to get a little closer with the clock stop. 3.20 left to go in the third quarter, and the Bulldogs at the free throw line shooting two. That's the first foul on the Aces for the second half, by the way. That went off the front of the rim and no good. One more. Shot up. And that one also no good. It, Hicksville grabs the rebound. Aces up the floor. Feeds it down low. Bounce pass. Shot up off the glass and good. Makes it 32 to 9. From three point land off the glass. No good. Aces with the board. Working his way through traffic, a breakaway, he'll hold up. And he'll kick it back outside and set the offense. Aces getting ready to run their offense a little bit and perhaps bleed a little time off of the clock. Shot up, no good. Edgerton with the rebound, and that's going to be a jump ball. That should be Hicksville's, I believe. So Aces with the inbounds after the jump ball. Block knocked away and picked up by Edgerton, going coast to coast, puts it up. Blocked out of bounds, which should stay with the Bulldogs. 2.17 to go in the third quarter. Again, 32 to nine, Hicksville. Seventh grade boys basketball action. Edgerton with the inbounds on the baseline. Working it out of the corner. Again, slapped out of bounds by the Aces. And that's going to be a foul. And that'll be team foul. I think that should be number two on Hicksville. Three-point land, back of the iron, no good. Second attempt, no good, this time grabbed by the Aces. Hicksville puts it up off the glass and good. The layup makes it 34 to nine. Edgerton working his way through traffic. And that'll be a foul on the floor. Again on Hicksville. Well, they're saying that's team foul number one. Okay. I thought they'd called another one earlier. At least one more. But perhaps it was a time call that caused that turnover. Bounce pass into the Bulldogs. Shot up. No good. 
run down by the Aces. And with a minute 20 to go, Hicksville works up the floor. Pass, knocked loose, and another whistle, another foul. That'll be team foul number two on the Aces. And again, on the floor as Edgerton will have the ball out of bounds side court. Minute 17 to go in the third quarter. Now Edgerton looking to get their offense set. Tries to take it inside, nothing there. Down into the corner, shot up for three, no good. Rebound, they tried to feed it back down low, but that one's grabbed by the Aces. Go under a minute, and Hicksville back on offense. Nice pass, nice feed inside, up and good. 36 to nine, and again, if the Aces go up by 30, that gets the running clock going. Edgerton. Down by 27. Looking to put it up. Ball slapped away. Bulldogs retain possession. Shot up is short. Grabbed by Hicksville with 18 seconds across the timeline. Driving in. Puts up the runner. No good. Put back up. No good. And out of bounds it goes with 6.5 seconds. Stay in the hands of the Aces. Quick substitution. Need to get people off the floor. All right, there we go. Aces inbounds, deflected and stolen by the Bulldogs. On the other end, and it's another takeaway for the Aces. That shot is not even anywhere close. And that's the end of the third quarter. So we played three, and it's the Aces leading the Edgerton Bulldogs in this seventh grade boys basketball game. 36 to nine, our third quarter score. I want to say another thank you to another one of our diamond level underwriting supporters, underwriting all of our Aces sports broadcasts here on Hicksville Community Television for 2023. That's the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Hey, remember, if you're in the market for a vehicle, looking for something brand new, pre-owned, be it a car, truck, van, or SUV, check out the selection they have on the lots, or you can check out the entire dealer inventory online anytime at jimschmidtauto.com. Remember, it's always about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. So proud to have them again as one of our 2023 Diamond Level Underwriting supporters on Hicksville Community Television. All right, six minutes on the clock. Aces up 36 to nine, and Edgerton will have the ball to get the, first, the fourth quarter underway. Inbounds, and away we go. Edgerton setting up their offense. Driving it in on, bounces it off of his foot. Quick feed down low, drives baseline, holds up. Bounce pass, shot up, no good. Rebound to the Bulldogs. And a travel, two of the Bulldogs got tangled up and falls down and they move towards the hoop and that's a travel. So Aces will get the ball back. Long inbounds, knocked loose. And again, another scrum and that'll be a jump ball. And that will be Aces ball on the possession arrow. Had to hesitate a moment and check. So Hicksville back on offense. Up 36 to nine. Long shot off the glass and rim and no good. Back the other way, Edgerton. 
goes into trouble and it's taken away by the Aces. Aces defense has been giving the Edgerton players a fit this afternoon in the seventh grade game. Shot up, blocked. Grabbed by Edgerton. They come the other way. The Bulldogs put the shot up. Off glass and good. 36 to 11. It cuts the Aces lead to 25. Hicksville. Down into the corner. Three-pointer is no good. Ball loose on the floor. Grabbed by Edgerton. 4.33 left in the game in regulation and timeout on the floor from the Edgerton Bulldogs bench. So we'll take some time during this timeout to say a thank you to our gold level underwriting supporter underwriting all of our basketball coverage here on Hicksville Community Television. Our good friends at Subway of Hicksville, Ohio. Subway of Hicksville where Al and the gang say go aces. It's a great place to eat fresh, refresh, and hey, download the app to your mobile device to take advantage of great in-app specials. You can uh, order in advance. I'll have your food waiting for you when you get there. Curbside pickup available as well. Subway of Hicksville, proud sponsors of the Subway Player of the Game Award that we give out at the end of each boys' and girls' varsity basketball broadcast that we have here on Hicksville Community Television. Want to thank them so very much for doing that again this basketball season. Subway of Hicksville, Ohio. Remember, it's a great place to stop before or after the game or any time. Subway of Hicksville, Ohio. Bulldogs with the ball. 433 left in regulation. And again, they're down 25, 36 to 11. So they need to... Get the offense fired up here pronto. Down low shot up from the side, no good. Put back off glass, no good. And another attempt, that one goes up and bounces, no good. And finally we've got a whistle underneath the basket. That's on the floor, but it's against Hicksville. That's team foul number five on the aces. Uh, Two away from putting Edgerton into the bonus. Bounce pass in. Shot is good. A long two to make it 36 to 13. And the Aces back on offense. Knocked loose and grabbed before it goes out of bounds by the Bulldogs. Down the floor. Shot up off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound. And another shot, and that one's no good. And we're going to have another whistle, and that'll be... A foul on the Aces, and that's going to send Edgerton into the line to shoot two. That's team foul number six on Hicksville, by the way. So next one puts Edgerton into the bonus for the remainder of the game. Two shots. First one, no good. He'll have one more. That one also no good. Rebound, and we're going to have a wrestling match, and that'll stay with Edgerton on the possession arrow on the jump ball call. Now 344 left in regulation. Quick inbounds and a whistle, and that'll be another foul on the Aces, and that should be one and one. That foul puts the Bulldogs into the bonus. So Edgerton at the line with 342, shooting one and one. Misses the front end. Aces grab the rebound. Long shot from the wing is good. That's a three. Make it 39 to 13. Aces back up now by 26. 
Onto the wing, a three point on the other end is going to be a long, that's going to be okay. One said two, the other said three, so they're going to give him three. 39 to 16. Ace is still in control of this game, up by 23, but. And now we're going to have out of bounds on the sideline and a turnover back to Edgerton. So 3.09 left in regulation, and the Bulldogs down by 23 have the basketball back on offense. Down into the corner, shot up, no good. Rebound Hicksville. And a full timeout called on the Aces bench. As the Edgerton Bulldogs, again, they're down by 23, but they're a feisty group, and they are not giving up. They're playing hard, and they're going to go right to the bitter end. Just under three minutes to go, so just past the halfway point of quarter number four here in the seventh grade game. You're watching the action live from the Hicksville Auxiliary Gymnasium here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. I'm Bill Murphy. So glad to have you with us. Hope you're enjoying the coverage this afternoon. Again, uh, flying solo unexpectedly today, but uh, making the best of it. That means that when we uh, wrap this game up, we'll have a short, shorter than usual post-game show as since I'm uh, talking and running the camera and everything else, I'm not able to take stats, whatever, so I won't be able to pass along any unofficial scoring or anything. We'll wrap up this live stream, take a little bit of a break, and I'll be back with a second live stream a little later, uh, usually about a 10-minute, 8, 10-minute break. And we'll have the 8th grade contest for you as well here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. Aces will have the ball baseline. And they get it inbounds, and we're underway. From the corner, that's off the glass, no good. Rebound to Edgerton. We'll come back the other way. Shot and just inside the three-point arc is no good. And the Aces come up with the basketball. Nice spin move, drives it down low and loses the dribble. But it's recovered by one of his teammates. And we're going to have a no whistle and another turnover. Back to Edgerton with 2.15 to go in regulation. Shot up off the glass, no good. Rebound to the Aces. Hicksville, we'll slow it down a little bit. They can set their offense. Driving down towards the corner and it's taken away by Edgerton. Under two minutes and here come the Bulldogs. Score still 39-16. Shot up from three-point land is no good. Aces grab the rebound and come back the other way. Quickly down the floor, down into the corner. He'll pass it out on the wing, drive into the paint, kick it back out. Three-point shot will be no good. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor called by the Bulldogs. We'll see if they'll have possession at the end of the timeout or not. I'm not sure who everybody was scrambling for the ball. Eighth grade teams are standing in the doorways, getting ready to come out and start warming up between games. 126 to go, and again, it's the Aces on top in the seventh grade game, 39 to 16. Sound the horn. And we'll get ready to get back into action. It'll be Edgerton's, Edgerton's ball. They get it inbounds, and we're underway. Down into the corner, shot up, air ball, no good. Put back by Edgerton, no good. 
Ball slapped back in bounds, grabbed by Edgerton. Another long three, no good. And again, a tussle for the ball underneath the hoop. The Aces come up with it this time with under a minute to go. Still going to just work it here. Grabs it before it goes over. The, it's scooped up, though. The loose ball grabbed by Edgerton. Ball up. No good. Put back. No good. Down to 35 seconds and finally a whistle. And that'll be another foul on the Aces. That'll be team foul number eight on Hicksville. It comes with 34.7 seconds left in regulation. And again, it'll be one and one for the Edgerton Bulldogs. First shot, no good. They miss the front end, but they get the rebound. That put back is no good. And we're going to have a jump ball this time. And that should be Aces ball. It is 29 seconds exactly left in the game. Hicksville gets it across the timeline, bounces it off of his foot. Feeds it down under the wing, 15 seconds. I'll play some keep away here and have a whistle. And time call, so it'll be a turnover back to the Edgerton Bulldogs with eight seconds left. Shot up, no good. 2.6 seconds, and we're going to go to the line to shoot free throws. 39-16 score, and Edgerton back at the line. Again, 2.6 seconds. Team foul number nine for the Aces. He hits the first one. He'll get one more. Makes it 39-17. One more shot. I'll miss that one. Put back. No good. And that's the ball game. Your final score. In the seventh grade game here tonight, it's the Aces defeating the Edgerton Bulldogs by 22, 39 to 17, the final score. Again, I'm here on my own, so I'm not able to take the stats, so I don't have any unofficial scoring for you. I apologize, but I'd rather bring you the game with the shorthanded play-by-play than not have the coverage for you at all. I want to say a few thank yous here as we get ready to wrap up our broadcast uh, and get ready for our second live stream coming up in about 10 minutes or so from right now. Big thank you once again to all four of our Diamond Level Underwriting supporters making our coverage possible. That's the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Our good friends at APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio. I should say Jim Schmidt online at jimschmidtauto.com. APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio online at www.aptmfg.com slash careers. The Hicksville Pharmacy, your good neighbor pharmacy in downtown Hicksville, Ohio. Call 419-542-6218 for information on COVID boosters and flu shots. And Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio. Online at www.arcsolinc.com. And thanks also to our Gold Level Underwriting supporter, Subway of Hicksville, proud sponsors of the Subway Player of the Game Award. Also want to say a big thank you to the Junior High Athletic Department for allowing us to be here and provide the live stream coverage. Want to thank them so very much. Thanks to all of you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the coverage this afternoon. We're going to uh, take a bit of a break, and I'll be back in about uh, probably about six, seven minutes from right now. We'll have the eighth grade game coming your way. And until I speak to you then, once again, final score, it was 37-37. Uh, to 16, the seventh grade Aces winners over the Edgerton Bulldogs. And until I talk to you with eighth grade coverage here in a few minutes, I'm Bill Murphy for Hicksville Community. <laughs>